John, at number five, quarterback or non-quarterback, as a, as Case Keenum factors. We will take the best a player already for the bet for the best, the best for the Denver Broncos, whoever's there, regardless of position. Yep. How, is, how important is it that you've met and had discussions with players um, before you make your minds up on that decision? Well, I mean, it's always nice to get to know them as, as, as well as we can. Uh, obviously, in, in uh, Indy, we get 15 minutes with them, and so that's not a lot of time. So, um, you know, and then we get an opportunity to bring 30 kids in and get a chance to see what they know, get to know them a little bit, but to also get them on the board and see what kind of football knowledge they have. And so, uh, you know, that's always very helpful. If you haven't met with them in Indy and you haven't met with them here at the facility, um, I'm sure it doesn't rule them out, but does it sort of put them down a little bit in terms of where they fit? Well, I mean, our scouts do such a great job of getting character and, and background, and when they go into the schools and talk to the coaches and, and uh, so and the people that they talk to, so they do a great job. So we, we feel pretty good about um, you know what, what our, the stuff that our scouts. So what we do a lot of times with the thirties, we bring them in to kind of confirm what we're hearing, okay. one way or the other. So, but our scouts do a tremendous job, and so uh, that's what we really rely on. If, you, we haven't, if they haven't been here. Will you keep the number five pick or are you open to trade? I'm open to trade. What, what's your criteria to move on? We're going to go through that next year, like I said, we, uh, next week. I haven't got to, we, we've been through the board, so we'll start going through scenarios um, probably starting on Monday and looking into that. And, and so, um, you know, at that point in time, we'll look at all the different options. We got to see what's going to, you know, if we're going to move back, we got to go. We got to go back and look and say, okay, what are the, what do we think we're going to get if we move back, right? So we got to go through every different scenario. If we move up, <clears throat> what's it going to cost us to move up, and is it worth to move up? So, all those scenarios we'll start working on on Monday. How oh. do you balance the idea? I know you want to rebound from last year. You guys, it was a humbling season for you. How do you balance that desire with the fifth pick in terms of getting a guy that maybe could come in and start for jump? I mean, I, that's part of the, you know, that's part of my job to figure out what's best for the organization, not only now, but also long-term, long-term, and so, um, you know, going through all those situations, and <clears throat> again, you know, going through all the scenarios, once I get through all the scenarios, and we get through all those different scenarios, out of those, we'll try to figure out what's the best one. John, obviously you guys released uh, the statement when you released C.J. Anderson, but can you talk about what went into that decision to release him? Well, I'm not going to get into what what uh, you know what we thought of about the, about that decision and letting him go. But you know, obviously, there's a lot of different things that go into that. But uh, you know, CJ was a great player for us and, and had a great year last year and uh, was a guy that uh, did a lot of things. <clears throat> not, only th not only for us as a football team, but in the community. And so, you know, that's part of football. It's always tough to have to make those type of decisions. But uh, you know, there's a lot of different things that go into when you make a decision on on, on a player like CJ. There's a lot of things that go into that decision. John, well, John you hear about how this draft is deep in different positions. Then you also look at there's I think there's 106 <coughs> players that are special. Or they're coming in early. Is what the number is. Is correct? Does that make it so it's deeper? Like that, that it's really two first rounds of, of picks. How does that? I mean, I think it's always determined. You never know what juniors are going to come in each year, and so that when the juniors come in, kind of make it uh, whether it's a deep draft or not. And, and um, so that junior class is always important because it's, um, because there's always a lot of good players that come in with that, the, the kids that declare. So, um, you know, this is a draft that uh, is deep in certain positions. It's a little thinner than in, in uh, a lot of positions than more so this year than in the past. And so, um, you know, but the juniors always, they always add to the depth of the draft without a doubt. And oh. to a lot of the guys that, uh, you know, or the top draft picks are usually a lot of juniors. Speaking of depth, John, when you're putting together these scenarios, do you ever look at next year's class of, let's say, quarterbacks to compare to this year's class? We try to do that, you know, and try to figure out what 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 next year's draft's going to look like. It's hard, hard enough getting through uh, all the evaluation of the kids this year. But uh, we'll have a general idea, overview of, you know, who's going to be out next year. But it's not real depth. Of the quarterbacks that you have looked at and spent time with, have you been able to use the information to narrow it down at least to where you, you know, okay, there's a certain amount that yes, they fit us if they're available, if they're the best player, and a couple of guys that just they're just not the right mix. Yeah, I mean we've done that. We've you know we've stacked them and got them in order and how we think that they they fit and who fits us and who doesn't. So yeah, we've been through that process. We do that process with every position. And so where they fit into our football team and, and uh, 
are they a fit for us? And so even as we stack the board, we stack them talent-wise, but also, uh, you know, is it a fit for us? So there are some guys who have been ruled out then, logically, about that. Sure, but it's usually not the guys at the top of the board. I okay. Mean, so, I mean, you know, usually there's character issues and things that get ruled out down the bottom of the board. Medical, medical will be another mm -hmm. issue that we'll cover on Monday that will eliminate guys from the board depending on where they are, uh, you know, uh, medical-wise. So, uh, but they're, you know, and we eliminate guys as we go. But uh, usually the top of the board guys don't get eliminated. Where do you think 